So this is day two, or treatment two, and uh, I'd really like to focus on the fluid dynamics around the nerve, as well as inside the nerve, and to uh, release the flexor retina oculum. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, you can see how Jen's skin is quite mobile here, and then um, when we get to this proximal skin crease, there's a lot less mobility. See, she's sliding. Or a lot less mobility, so, the, like and she doesn't like the feeling. So there's uh, actually a connective tissue retinoculum um, that's quite superficial here. And it runs something like this. So there's congestion underneath this retinoculum and it, and it creates uh, irritating uh, symptoms for her. Um, Then, if I use my thumbnail, sorry. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a sharp one, eh? Yeah. If I use my thumbnail in this way, then I can feel the edge of the flexor retinoculum going over to the pisiform. The hook of the hammy. And then on the side of the scaphoid here, and the ridge of the trapezium. And if I go distal, I can feel the edge of the retinoculum here. So the flexor retinoculum is. Uh, is this area in here. Uh, the median nerve uh, lies between the um, tendon of flexor carpi radialis and palmaris longus. So here's flexor carpi radialis, here's palmaris longus. And so it's running in between those tendons. It's a soft tubular structure that gets uh, increasingly irritated as we get closer. So if I tap here, it's unremarkable. Yeah. If we go a little bit more closely. Okay. So Jen feels it right in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's shocking, eh? So um, the nerve's running along and runs in through here. So she's not going to feel much over here, she's not going to feel much on the bone there, but right mm. on that spot, it's, what's the feeling you get? I want to pull my hand away. You want to pull your hand away? Yeah. Okay, thanks for not doing that. <laughs> and then um, we'd like to feel, find out where it's exiting the uh, wrist here. So uh, I'm going to tap with my finger over here. I'm going proceeding towards the thumb side. Um, what did you get there? I just want to just okay. my finger. Ah! Okay, so here we are coming out right there. And then um, the motor is the, uh, the one that we really want to pay attention to. And it tends to swing over um, towards the uh, thenar eminence muscles. And uh, if we start tapping um, away from where the nerve swings over, and we start coming closer and closer and closer. Mm. No? It will get closer yeah, right, to the exit. Right. Yeah. Right in there. Yeah. Uh, ah, yeah. there's, there's a tubular yeah. structure here, and it's actually quite swollen. So that's either the motor division or a sensory branch um, of the median nerve. Um, and it's going to innervate the uh, abductor uh, pollicis brevis and the flexor and the, um, the adductor. The, um, the branch that innervates the uh, flexor and the adductor also shares some innervation from the ulnar nerve. Um, but this muscle on the outside here, the uh, abductor pollicis, is uh, purely innervated by the median nerve. And when we compare the fleshy substance on this side to Jen's other side, uh, this is a softer and lax tone. There's actually some taut fibers and so on uh, in her right hand in this muscle. And this just feels kind of soft and, and quote, uh, 
relaxed, although uh, it's partially uh, denervated. So to review, we've got the median nerve running through here, underneath this uh, soft kind of retinaculum, and then we enter the, um, the carpal tunnel right about here, and you can see as soon as I touch your here with the pen, it's very irritating. So we're running right in through here, and then there's going to be other branches that go sensory and so on, or sensory to, um, you know, to the hand and so on. But uh, this, is, this is where we're focusing on today.